One of these two images comes from Paris. Can you tell which it is? And how do you know? If you've spent enough time in Paris, you probably noticed a few elements of the facade on the left, like the street sign, the balcony, or the shape of the window, which look similar to ones you've seen all around Paris. The internet has given rise to massive online databases of geotagged imagery. In particular, Google Street View contains nearly every street in the city of Paris. While Street View has carefully organized this imagery geographically, we are interested in finding what makes the streets look similar to one another across the entire city. In this work, our goal is to search through a data set of tens of thousands of Street View images to find architectural elements that are representative of a city like Paris. To be representative, elements must be both frequent and discriminative. For example, the Eiffel Tower is highly discriminative, but there's only one in all of Paris. Likewise, the world is full of frequently occurring yet uninformative elements, like trees, cars, and empty walls. Our algorithm finds elements by simultaneously optimizing both of these criteria, and for Paris, the results look like this. We can find similar elements in other cities as well. At a glance, these patches, and the images they came from, provide a summary of the important stylistic elements of streets in different cities. Because we have GPS coordinates for each image, we can also plot our elements geographically. This balcony, for example, only appears on large boulevards, whereas small iron window railings are more common on side streets. This style of column appears in the famous Place de Vosges, yet also in the more recent Marché Saint-Germain. This might indicate a so-called architectural citation between the two buildings. We can also take a wider view and find elements shared across all of Europe. At the level of continents, architectural similarities may point to cultural interactions. For example, this cast iron balcony railing is common in Milan, Barcelona, and Paris, but rare in Prague and London. Similarly, given elements discovered in one city, like Paris, we can find analogous elements in other cities, like London and Prague. The correspondence between elements allows us to compare the styles. For example, on the first row, the cast iron railing in Paris is replaced by stone in Prague and London. It's also interesting to visualize the facades around each element. We start with several images containing a given element, and then average them, centered on that element. If the same element occurs in multiple cities, we can create per-city averages and compare facades. Note how the balcony occurs on the third floor in Paris, but on the second in Prague and London. To find elements in a city like Paris, we first decompose each image in our Street View dataset into patches, about 25,000 per image. Then we randomly sample candidate patches from the Paris portion. Next, we try to find those candidates that might depict interesting elements by matching each of them with similar patches inside and outside of Paris. Here, red boxes indicate non-Paris matches. Any candidate patch with many matches outside Paris must not be very distinctive, so we discard such candidates. The remaining candidates often depict distinctive elements, but the naive matching procedure may not optimally capture which parts of these patches are distinctive. Hence, we refine the matchings. Our iterative procedure uses discriminative learning to discover which parts of the Paris patches distinguish them from the non-Paris ones. The final output is a set of detectors, which can find Paris visual elements when they occur in images.